These are my two hexapod robots, Chika and Chipo. They use the same software, but Chipo is slightly smaller and uses cheaper servos. In this video, I will show you how to build Chipo, the cheap hexapod robot that you can build for under $150. To run my hexapods, I'm using two Android apps. The Chica client app that runs on the remote controller phone, and I use it to send the various control commands. And the Chica server app that runs on the main phone on the robot, which receives the commands and runs the control loop by reading the sensors and actuating the servos via a servo controller board. You can get the latest versions of both apps from Google's Play Store. The Chica server app reads all the variable parameters such as the body and leg dimensions, movement speed, leg placement, and a lot of other customizable features from a configuration file, and adjusts the animation control and inverse kinematics based on those values. So at this point, these apps are a universal hexapod driver app, meaning that you can use them to drive your completely custom-built hexapod by providing the right parameters in the config file. You can find all the 3D part designs and the configuration files for both of these hexapods on my GitHub page. The latest version of the apps come with a lot of bug fixes and many new features. So if you have already built any of these hexapods, make sure to upgrade your apps. I will go into the details of all the new features in another video. The general build steps for Chipo are mostly identical to the Chica Hexapod, and you can watch my older videos for the details of that. Here I will tell you about the differences compared to the Chica build that you need to consider. My main goal for the Chipo Hexapod was to keep it as simple and cost effective as possible, so I decided to use 3D printed rods instead of the metal rods in the touch sensor assembly. These two touch sensor designs are fully compatible with both robots and you can use whichever you prefer. Another change that I made was to use the round plastic horns that come with the servos instead of the metal horns that I use on Chica. I attached the parts of the servos by screwing directly into the plastic horns with M2 screws. And so far it has been working exceptionally well, no issues. Another important difference that you need to consider is that the MG996R servos that I use in Chipo work with 6 volts, compared to the servos on the Chica that work with 7.4 volts. So you either need to use a 6 volt battery or use a voltage step down to bring the voltage down to 6 volts. Here I'm using a 5 cell nickel metal hydride battery that I had which works just fine. With the new parts for the Chipo Hexapod, you will see a noticeable gap between the servo back piece and the idler shaft. That is where the centering ring goes, which adds a small amount of friction to prevent the servo overshoot that I talked about in the previous videos. Depending on the plastic material and your printer calibration, you may need to do small adjustments to the thickness of the ring to make the perfect fitment. They work so well that I even used these rings on my main hexapod, which completely eliminated the overshoot for the Coxa servos. Well, that was it. I hope you build and enjoy this robot. At the end, I want to add a few words about why I'm excited about this robot and why I think it could be a game changer. And it all comes down to the use of Android phone in this build. For a price tag of under $150, you get a walking robot with multiple cameras, a big touch screen, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cell connectivity, an unmatched processing power compared to other alternatives, a speaker and microphone, GPS, IMU and a ton of other sensors. I know that I'm not using most of these features yet, but the potential is there and that's the direction that I want to take this project. As a first step, I bought these small mirrors 
that I'm going to use to start adding some vision capabilities. The initial tests were promising and I will tell you more about that once I have more results. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.